All right, so good to be back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Setson. In today's tutorial, it's a continuation of our game development in C. So we're using the SDL library to build our game. We're going to focus on how we can build the game window. So SDL allows us access into the computer hardware. So we can have access to the monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. And so we're going to head over to the documentation. You can search for SDL. You want to go to the first link, click on this simple direct media layer. It will take you to this page right here to go to the documentation. And then under wiki, click on that link. And then it will take us to this page right here. So SDL their wiki if you scroll up you see there is a section here it says api reference by name i want you to go to by category right here click on that category the sdl 2.0 api by category okay so we can see we have basics video input events etc we are trying to create a game windows before you start creating you need to initialize the sdl library so initialization and shutdown right here on the basics so i want you to click on this initialization and shutdown click on that you can see we have a number of functions right here that we can use. We have SDL init and SDL init subsystem. By the way, you should be able to read this documentation. It's one of the skills that you need to have for you to be able to build anything. Of course, you need to be able to understand the documentation. So let me click on SDL init. Its job is to initialize the SDL library. You find it in the SDL.h header file. This is the function signature right here. It returns an integer. It accepts these arguments, unsigned int32 flags, and then the return value Value, it returns zero on success and a negative error code on failure. These are the remarks it forwards to calling SDO init subsystem. Therefore, the two may be used interchangeably. So I can use these two interchangeably. So it now becomes a question of preference. If my priority is readability, I can use this one. But both of these are the same. They can be used interchangeably. And then the flags that we can pass into this function, we have the timer subsystem, audio subsystem, video subsystem, joystick subsystem, etc. We can initialize these individual subsystems or we can initialize everything which we are going to be doing here all of the above subsystems so you can use this constant right here let's get into our code and start writing our code is i'm going to head over to our code right here this is what we did last time you can see we had our game executable and then our src where our main file is so i'm going to say vi src for slash main dot c if you open that you can see this is what we did last time so what we want to do is the first thing is we want to include include sdo2 for slash sdo.h so we need to include this header because that's where we'll find those functions if you go back to our documentation you can see right here it says it's defined inside the sdo.h which is our header file by the way it's inside our sdo2 folder that's why we need to specify the folder here and then the slash sdoh header and then inside our main function right here we can then use sdo underscore capital letter i in it and then parenthesis like this. This function takes arguments. We can just use SDO underscore in it, underscore everything. This is provided by the SDO library for us. So you can see right here, SDO init everything. So we are initializing everything. Um, so this function right here returns an integer like the documentation says right here, return value. It returns zero on success or a negative error code on failure. If there is an error, we need to call SDO get error for more information. We can try that out. We can assign it to a variable called initialize you can name it whatever you want if initialize is equal to zero which is the success code then we want to do something right here for now we can just print out initialization and success so we can backslash n and then close that code and then close this so we want to test this so i'm going to exit this and then we want to gcc output this as game as usual source file is inside source main.c if we try to compile this this is a linking error when you are compiling c source files they go through a number of processes there is pre-processing compilation assembly and then we have the linking part this will add the actual code of these function definitions that we use in our file and so that's what the linking process is all about and so for us to include the linking process we can just say dash l and then we want to include sdl2 if i run this it's supposed to be successful you can see i no longer 
I have any errors. So if we run our executable, which is game, you can see right here, it says initialization successful. And then our statement, the game has started. We have initialized our STL library successfully. After initialization, we also need to free the resources by using SDO quit. Let's click on this function and see. It cleans up all initialized subsystems, right? So immediately after, right here, I can say SDO underscore capital letter Q quit like this. It takes in nothing here. So just like here, it's a void. It returns void. It takes in no argument. That's what void means. Okay. So in between the initialization and freeing of our resources, we can then create our window, right? Here. Display and window management. So click on that. So SDO create window. Creates a window with the specified position, dimensions, and flag. So let's look at the signature. It returns a pointer to an SDO window, and then we can create a window taking in the title, the X position, Y position of the window, the width and the height of the window, then the flags. We're going to create our window. So for us to create our window, I'm going to say SDO underscore capital letter W and window. This is a pointer. I'm going to name it win. You can name it whatever you want. Then we can call that SDO underscore capital letter C create and then capital letter W window. It takes in a number of arguments. I'm going to call it that name. It has to be a string, by the way. I'm going to put this on a separate line so that it looks a little bit cleaner. We have the title and we have the X position of the window. You can use these constants, by the way, if you want it to be centered or if you want the computer to decide for you, or you can pass in actual values. For me, I'm going to say I want it on the 200 pixels on X and then 200 on Y. The width, I want this to be 840 by 600. That's The width is 840. The height is 600. And then we need flags. I'm going to pass in zero. I don't want any of these flags right here, but I'm going to pass in a zero here. We are going to check for errors. We need to be able to check for errors because uh, right now we are not checking for any errors right here. We're just saying if initialize is equal to zero, it prints this. What if there's an error? We need to change this to not equal to zero. And then here we can say initialization failed. And we need some kind of a message. So we're going to say percent s we can call sdl get error to get the actual reason or the actual message in detail so we can say sdl underscore get error right here uh, if there is a failure i'm going to return a one right here if that does not happen then it's going to go on and create that window uh, after we create our window we also need to check for errors in the window creation so if we go back to our documentation, it says here, it returns the SDO window that was created, or it returns now on failure. And then we can call this SDO get error as well. So we can say down here, if win is equal to null, then we can do something. Printer window creation failed. We can call the SDO underscore get error. And then again, I'll return a one. After we finish this, we also need to clean up the resources that have been allocated to the window. So we can do that by destroying that window. There's a destroy function. So let's open that function right here. You can see it returns void. You pass in the window that you want to destroy. So SDO underscore capital letter D destroy and then capital letter W destroy that window. And then we pass in the win, which is the window that we created. And so these are done in reverse order. We initialized first and then we created the window and when we destroy we have to destroy the window first and then free up the initialization games work in what we call a loop we need to have a game loop for us to be able to see and control this window at the moment we cannot control the window it's just going to pop up and disappear so for us to see the window we need to use uh, to go to the timer so timers right here time support i'm going to use this delay as the old delay so if we click on as the old delay it takes in milliseconds which is unsigned integer 32. Place it immediately so, before we destroy our window. So I'm going to say STO underscore delay and then we can pass in 5,000 milliseconds which is just 5 seconds. So our screen will pop up and stay for 5 seconds and then it will disappear. So let's try this out. So I'm going to escape this. Um, of course we have to recompile and linking our SDO2 library. So if I hit enter you can see we have no issues. If I run my game you should be able to see a black window popping up right here so if i hit enter you can see right here we have set since game pops up for five seconds and then it disappears run that again so that you guys can see here is our window right here and it pops up for five seconds and then it disappears so we have successfully created our game window i hope this tutorial was helpful if you do have any questions leave them in the comment section remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers